Hey there, we're back in the TRE kitchen. Elizabeth here. And Coach Nate. We are doing a 15 minute uh, freezer to fork meal with bison burgers tonight. Truth be told, I think we hit a bison on the way over here. So, uh, <laughs> gotta use what you got. That's the rule. All right, tune in. All right, step one in the bison burger meal for tonight. You ready for this? You ready to help out, find Nate? Find the buffalo. Wherever, where did we find it? I found it in my freezer. Okay. First at Trader Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> However, <Check. laughs> if you're a hunter, maybe you go out and I feel like that's something that you would do. I'm not really a hunter, but if there is a perception that I am, I will you go with that. You seem manly, like I that like you could catch your, own, catch your own meat. I know. Okay. Anyway. For our video, we're using... Back to land fishing, frozen. aka frozen buffalo <laughs> cooking. Frozen buffalo burgers. All right. So the nice thing about buffalo burgers is most of the time they are grass-fed, wild, mm. organic. Um, so it's a really healthy source of red meat. So that's why we want to go for it as yeah. just a, just a way to mix it up. Yeah, exactly. What about goat burgers? <laughs> if I'm drinking lots of goat milk and I wanted to use the goat. You and the and goat. I, I'm buying you a goat for Christmas. She really we're likes sticking, goat milk, guys. we're just, sticking to bison burgers for today. All right. You so can just ask below in the video if you want to see goat milk video and we can, you know, do that. Can, anyway, you I'm, I'm sorry. Yourself. I'm sorry. Let's, let's continue okay. with the, the cooking. So. Looks like this. We are going to, I have one already going in a pan here uh, because it takes about 15 minutes, so seven minutes aside to cook. Oh, so okay. it's going with just a little bit of avocado oil, mm, browning avocado it on oil. each side. Yes. I couldn't help but notice earlier, Izzy, Elizabeth, that this says extra virgin olive oil. And okay. yet there's oil. Thank you for being observant. So I just wanted to make sure you guys weren't confused. So anyway, the continue. reason that that says olive oil is because they haven't quite got on the the bandwagon yet. It's very mm. hard to find a container that says avocado oil. Okay. So you get the olive oil and you just go with it. You put awesome. your own in there. So we got the burger going. Yep. We got the non-olive oil cooking in there, <laughs> making the burger. And what else we have going on? Next up, I'm going to have you add, this is our riced oh, cauliflower yeah. stir fry. So a really popular alternative riced nowadays. Riced cauliflower. Yeah, you don't you don't you don't have cauliflower rice. I feel like I learn rice? something new every time I hang out with you. From the oils to the rice to I know oh. about buffalo. The healthy the healthy. Okay. Um, so I put this in here. Yep. So you're gonna okay. put that in there, um, at least half the package or so. If you want to share with someone else, you, you know. Make I an feel like there's two. some like mystery ingredients in here. So this is a mix. It's a stuffing mix. Ooh. So it has cranberries. Uh, Dried sweetened cranberries, leeks, onion, and celery. Yeah, all that the looks good, good stuff. Hey, um, is that enough? A little more. I would say more. definitely throw a little more in there. Okay. So we are the, hungry. So the benefit of the rice cauliflower, it's a lower carb option. It adds mm. another veggie in there. And mm. in a stir fry like this, um, I think it you know tastes just as great. I like that. Yeah. So we're going to mix this around and take a couple minutes and then let it cook up. All right. So we are in the middle of the cooking process. In the this stir fry dish, we have the rice cauliflower, mm. cranberries, leeks, and squash. And then I also have the bison burger cooking in the background mm -hmm. while this is going. All right, Nate, you and ready? We've got some new ingredients we're about to add some in. new ingredients. We're going to add in the kale. The finest kale from Tuscany <laughs> flown right over this morning. How much kale do I add in? Tuscan kale. <laughs> At least six or seven handfuls there. Mm. A lot of kale. Because kale, not quite as much as spinach, but it really sautés. It heats and kind of sautés down. Um, it and you shrinks, could, shrinks up yeah. a little bit. Yeah. So put okay. a good bunch in there. Good old bunch. Yeah, I'll keep stirring this around. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, that's probably there good we go. right now. The more the better. You the can never, you can never have enough kale. All right, can, so while can, that you cannot have enough kale, you can have too much kale. No, no, not enough. Not too enough. much. All right, not so enough. I'm just adding. I always like to add the seasonings a little bit right at the end. So this is a wild porcini sea salt Ew. to add a little flavor in there. I like that. That sounds good. I think like okay. it's going to really balance the buffalo, the porcininess. <laughs> that's exactly sweetness. right. Yeah. That's no, why I, I chose it. Up, well done. Works. All right. So we're just going to finish sauteing this up and then we'll be ready to plate it. Fantastic. So once we put it all together, I let the kale saute for about two to three minutes. So just, not very long. Nope. Not very long at all. You don't want it to overcook in there. Mm. So just enough to mix all the flavors together. Yeah. I think it did a really good job of putting the kale in there. I mean, it's just really <laughs> it did. It was an well essential step. Perfect amount. It was hey. blended well. Are right, you ready to start? I'm ready. I'm actually really hungry. Okay. 
Nice. So, so we've got our riced cauliflower mm -hmm. and our kale, our hand tossed Tuscan kale. And then there we're about to throw a little burger action in there. Yeah. So don't get to add that yeah. right on the top. Now, two things that you can add in. Um, I like to add some walnuts in. It adds a nice little crunch to the kind of kale mm. cauliflower mix, plus those healthy fats and omegas. So I'm putting those on there for you. Not going to complain. No and complaints then here. sriracha hummus. Sriracha hummus. I didn't even notice that. I didn't know they made sriracha hummus. They do. Have you ever tried making your own hummus? I have once. Okay. I'm guessing it didn't turn out well. You didn't do it. I <laughs> forgot. <laughs> what happened? It was a while ago. I was like, I have once. <laughs> remember. I can't remember. All right. So I'm just going to put a dollop of hummus there on the top mm. to help season because, you know, you, you always want, a lot of people are used to like ketchup or something and ketchup right. can be a little sugary. So just mixing that up a yeah, little bit. Yeah, mixing that up a little bit. Cool. Um, and then there you go. I'm cutting into this oh, you're, burger. Oh, you really were hungry. I'm really Thanks hungry, guys. Thanks for diving in there. I appreciate it. I know, this it. smells good. <laughs> oh, porcini, sriracha, <laughs> buffalo. Oh, this is What great. more could you ask Symphony. for? Symphony. Symphony of flavor. So there you have it, the runner dinner, 15-minute runner dinner. I'm just excited to eat something. <laughs> really at the end of the day and it might as well be buffalo so let's make some burgers yeah buffalo burgers indeed. now where is the bu is the buffalo over there like are we gonna pull it out the and buffalo is in the freezer you have to shave the buffalo yeah. first it's not this is not that kind of a video okay you can do that on your own we are this is what just, kind of video are you talking about <laughs> just a cooking video no shaving of buffaloes so if you need to go that's all right no but... animals harmed okay in this video <laughs> They Other were videos. previously, <laughs> potentially before. Yeah, I can't lie, that's how it got onto the plate. Okay. But in this video, we are not harming any animals. It is perfectly PETA friendly. <laughs> All right, if you liked this video, click the like button for us and leave me a comment. Let me know if you caught or got your own buffalo from the freezer, or uh, yeah, if you tried the recipe and how that cauliflower rice worked out for you. Oh man, dude, this is good. Um, make sure if you want more of these recipes to subscribe to our channel. We got a lot of great recipes coming out with Elizabeth. Um, I can personally test right now. It's pretty darn tasty. And we got a whole bunch of other stuff on our channel too, guys. Everything from cooking bison burgers to beef burgers to goat burgers, as well as running stuff too. So we got a lot of run channel uh, videos on marathons, racing, strength, etc. And of course, you've already subscribed to the channel because I've already said that. Man, I'm hungry. I'm going to finish this, and I'm going to see you in the next video. <laughs>